Well, hello, welcome to Izzy Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aries love prediction reading for September 9th through September 15th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy. Your significant other's energy or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with my fiery, impulsive, fun, kind, loving Aries? Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my impulsive, fiery Aries? Let's see, Aries, what you got going on? Show me, spirit guys. Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups. Four of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Well, I think that you have, I'm going to be, I'm going to be very honest with you when I see this read. Um, I think you've been putting somebody to giving them the blues. And I'm going to tell you why here really quickly. First of all, the Queen of Swords is leading your reading. The Queen of Swords, she is no joke. Queen of Swords is that, is that card of the straight up be, um, itch card. You know what I'm saying. You have been a straight itch to someone because you wanted something and they did not provide it for you. And I'm going to tell you what you wanted. I'm going to be very honest with you. There is something here that you want, and I'm going to tell you that I see you wanted to be married or you wanted a proposal, and your birthday is past, his birthday is past, the only thing left is the holidays, and you're trying to figure out what is the problem, and so you've been a straight up itch, when I say an itch, a straight up itch, a bee. I mean just off the chain. Um, Queen of Swords gets what she wants. She's yes or no. There is no in between. There's no gray matter anymore when it comes to this marriage situation. You've been with this dude for a minute anyway. He should know. He should know. And you know, it's not like it's new to him. But you know, he keeps wanting you to be a permanent girlfriend. And you're like, no, I want to be wifey. I want to be wifey. I just see this. I mean, I see this in a lot of my reads too. But you know, sometimes, you know, we as women, you know, when you keep giving them and giving them and giving them, they're not going to do anything different. You set a date. I said, you set a date in your head space and those, those dates have passed. And guess what you're saying? Nope. I don't want to hear about it. I don't, matter of fact, let's just move on because unless with this Knight of Cups here, that Knight of Cups is a proposal. That Knight of Cups is, this is what you want to hear. You want to hear when you want to hear there's no more gaslighting. There's no more. I'm going, we're going to do it here. I'm going, nope. There's no more of that. Because here's this Four of Cups is in the middle of your reading. And that Four of Cups is um, four of Cups is just like, I'm not hearing anything anymore. I'm not listening to you anymore. There is nothing left to say anymore. Uh, matter of fact, um, I'm about to block you and move the flip on. Because guess what? I want to win. I want to be wifey. I will not be your girlfriend. I will not keep being intimate with you. I will not keep sharing my thoughts, ideas, and plans for the future with you. I'm done. I'm done. That Four of Cups is like, you, you know, this man is going to lose it because he doesn't know what to do without you. I'm going to be very honest. But the Four of Cups lets me know you have told him unless, you know, I don't. Even, I think you've told him before. I don't think you've told him recently, but you know, he knows. That's all I got to say. He knows. He knows. He absolutely knows that you want to be wifey. You've been a great girlfriend to him, but you're tired of being girlfriend. That's not what you want anymore. You want the benefits. And I understand you want the benefits. What happens? You want the benefits. You might even have a child by him. I don't know. But either way it goes, you want the benefits. Now, I see the Six of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles. And so with the Six of Wands, that's winning. That's winning. So and then there's the Queen of Pentacles that's here. 
I strongly believe that when I see these two cards, you're saying I, the Queen of Pentacles, she handles her business. She's very commanding. People know her, very respected in the community. She may run a company. She may be a CEO. She, whatever, she got her bag. So you really don't need his bag. Now, the bags together absolutely can make, can be wonderful. But what you're saying is that I'm winning either way with this Six of Wands. You don't have to worry about money um, either way. And I'm winning. But what I want is I want a proposal. I want to be married. And like, I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think you said this to him again. But like I said, your birthday has passed. His birthday may have just passed. The only thing left is the holidays. But right now, you're not hearing anything because the Four of Cups is in the middle of the reading. Right now, you're saying you can do whatever you want. All you hear is wah, wah, wah. All you want to hear is that marry me. All that's it. There is no other conversation because he's about to be blocked. He's about to be moving on because you want to win. You want to be wifey. Now, give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guys want to tell us. Why is this queen of swords here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the queen of swords leading the read for my Aries? Show me spirit guys. Don't be impulsive Aries. Just give it a little time. Don't just do it uh, immediately. But right now, I see you about to say, uh-uh. I got my own money. I can make it. Uh-uh-uh. That's not what I, I need from you. I need a ring and a date. I want to be wifey. So let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Justice card. Well, justice card is here. That can represent a Libra sun sign. But the justice card is about karma. It's also about balance. It's also about balance. And I think this is really good for you, uh, 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 Aries, because you need to, I, I want you to have good karma. I See, when you see the justice card, it's about whatever you put out to the universe is what you get back. And you need to be very careful that you get the right things back. That's why I'm telling you, Lib um, excuse me, I keep saying Libra. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, Aries, do not be impulsive. Okay, don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive. I know that you've waited for a while, but don't be impulsive. Take your time. Take your time. Don't be impulsive. Take your time. Balance the pros and the cons. You've already asked for this before. Just don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive. And that's what I say. Because whatever happens is going to happen. Whatever doesn't happen is obviously it was, was meant not to happen. So don't be impulsive. So let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Well, there's that two of cups. There's that two of cups. Uh-huh. Yep. That two of cups, unity, being on the same page, wanting the same things. Well, let me tell you this. Also, what I see with this, you have to be very care careful because there is so much love here. There is love here. Look at this cups energy. There's love here. You, you guys love alike. You think alike. You have the same mindset. Please don't be impulsive, but I understand. I do understand. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting. Absolutely. You're tired of waiting. Because the Knight of Cups, he's offering the love to you. Now, I'm going to say, I think that you're putting him through, giving him little blues, too. And I'm going to be very honest with you. I think that he knows. And I think you're giving, making him wait. I And I do. I just looked at this. But I think you're making him wait no matter what. You're saying, no, you didn't ask me before. You put me through hell. Um, you, you're making him wait. Um, and that's what it is. Because in this cup, he's offering you. I think he's proposing to you. I do with this Knight of Cups. And you know that you want this man, but you feel like, and when I see the Karma card come out, I think you feel like, no, he put you through too much. He made you wait too long. And I think that you're trying to give him what for what on that. And when I say that, you're giving him the blues. You're not, you, yeah, you're giving the man the blues because, um, come on, come on, Aries, let go, let go. If you want to be with him, be with him. If not, don't do this. So let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Queen of Wands, I told you, if you listen to my readings, my Queen of Wands is what? My wifey card. You want to be wifey, but look, you're giving him the blues because he made you wait. You didn't get it as quickly as you wanted to, but stop because this karma is going to come back and bite you. That Queen of Wands or that Four of Cups, you know, you, you, you this man is sweating right now because he doesn't know. You pretty much said, mm, whatever. You're not listening to him anymore. You might have cut him off. You might have been a, done a no contact on him. But you know you really want to be with him and want to be wifey. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Wands here? 
the star card. The star card represents an Aquarius sun sign. But the star card, one of my favorite cards is hope, wishes coming true. I told you. And it's over the six of wands. Yeah, you need to stop. Stop. Marry him. Marry him. Because he's proposing to you. Marry him. Absolutely. Marry him. Stop it. Marry him. Stop being an itch and marry him. Stop giving him the blues and marry him. Why is this queen of pentacles here? Excuse me. Why is the queen of pentacles here for my Aries? Show me spirit, guys. Queen of pentacles again. I told you when the spirit guys give you that same card to read, that means I'm telling you exactly what they want you to know. Yes, absolutely. Queen of pentacles, you got your bag. You got your own bag. You got your own bag. You don't need them for your bag. What you do need them for is the love. You need them for companionship. You need them for all those things. So stop being an itch and accept the, the proposal. Stop it. Let's start at the beginning. Queen of Swords, you know, you, you were on a rampage here. You know, you were a little bit bitter here. Queen of Swords can be bitter because you um you wanted to be married. And he knew this. But your birthday passed, his birthday passed, every birthday has passed. And he did not propose. But here's this justice card. You're getting karma. There's karma here. Justice card can represent a Libra sun sign. But here you are being an itch because you didn't get what you wanted when you wanted it. Stop being that air, doing that Aries. You're giving this man a hard time. You are. But the Knight of Cups, he's coming. He's proposing now. He's beginning. He's ready to propose to you now. And I'm going to say he may have been may have told you he's going to propose. Whatever. He is proposing to you now. That two of cups there. You guys think alike. You love alike. It's, you know you want him. Yet you're giving this man the blues. He's worried because here's his four of cups in the middle of the reading. It's almost like you you broke up with him. You're punishing him because he didn't do it in your time. To me, that's not fair, Aries. You have to get your mindset together. Here's this over the Queen of Wands. If you listen to my reading, bottom line, Queen of Wands is my wifey card. You want to be wifey, and now you got the opportunity to be wifey, but now you want to be an itch about it. Six of Wands is here, and that means winning. And the star card is dreams coming true, which can represent an Aquarius sun sign, the star card. Queen of Pentacles over Queen of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit, guys. That means you got a bag. You don't worry about the money. You got all of that. What you want is to be wifey. He's trying to make you wifey. Stop planning and accept. Stop planning and marry him. So let's see. Show me oracles. What do my oracles have to say about this? Well, first card out, success. Second card out, yes. Wow. 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 Don't, and, and you know, like I said, I, I saw you getting ready to break up with him. Wait. Don't do it. Wait. Think about this. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Just because you didn't get it. Like you thought, it says also within the next few months. And I told